This is our cat, Chubbs. Our fat cat. Hello. Hi. How I'm are Dr. You? Hutchison. Hi, I'm Lindsay. So, what have we got here? We had the sliding glass door open last night, and because of his weight, we didn't think he'd be able to get out, but he did. We found him out on the porch this morning with blood coming out of his mouth, and I don't know, I think he might have uh, broke his jaw because his teeth are separated. Let me see. Let me see. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. It was definitely broken. You know, some things you would think about if, if it was a trauma, like he got hit by a car even, or he got in a fight with another animal. Yeah. If it is a trauma situation, we'd want to check and see if there's any other fractures okay. Okay. internally that we can't see. I don't want to manipulate his head too much because I'm sure it's very painful. Yeah. yeah. Very painful. So I'm That's hoping it's just too. that area. I may want to get some x-rays just to make sure if he has any broken ribs or anything like that, too. I just want to definitely do whatever we need to do to fix them. All right, we'll put the carrier back together. I know your face hurts. His jaw's broken and his face is really swollen. I'm worried there's some other fractures in there. He's also in a lot of pain, uh, so I want to get him started on some sedation and pain control and have Jeff take a look at him. Yeah. This is all super oh, small. Yeah. Oh man, it's a mess. It's bruising up above. Right now, the one eye looks really bad. The side of the face is really swollen. But we don't know what else is wrong with this cat either. I mean, we're looking at one little area, but the rest of the body could have been beat up too. So we really don't know until we get some x-rays and do a little bit more investigation. This is the only cat we have left. We just lost one. Hopefully, they're able to find where all his injuries are and he's able to come home soon. He's irreplaceable. Yeah. Looks good there, and then this piece looks good. Yeah. The good news is the full body x rays tell us that the injuries are limited to the head. But Dr. Jeff sees two areas of concern, a split lower jaw and possible damage to the eye socket or orbital bone. I'm a little worried about the orbital bone on the left side. Um, I really feel like I, and I can't feel it, but it's so swollen, but I, I got a feeling there's a crack in it. In any event, we're gonna do one thing at a time. We're gonna get this sealed up um, to get the, you know, the middle of the, the jaw back together. Cats are incredibly tough, and they didn't take a heck of a wallop to the head and bounce back from it. It's pretty amazing. They just don't get the same kind of brain trauma that we get as humans. I mean, I kind of understand why they say they have nine lives. Dr. Amy is going to lead the surgery to fix Chubbs' broken jaw. Amy's one of the new vets she needs to learn. This is a really interesting case, so it would be really nice to get someone like her to be involved with it. It, it looked right like there. that. Jeff says it's going to be easy, so we'll see. <laughs> so you're going to make a cut, like, right here. He says a lot of things are easy, and then they're not. As Chubbs is prepped for surgery to repair his broken jaw, another wound is revealed, which may be a clue to what caused the cat's injuries. When Chubbs came in, because the, the mass is swelling the head, you know, the natural instinct to think, well, he got hit by a car. But as we cleaned them up and found a hole, and we're really thinking that this looks like more like a bite. It looks like puncture wounds, so I'm, I'm starting to think maybe a dog or something, a coyote or something, actually grabbed his head. The surgery on Chubbs' jaw will be a first for rookie vet Dr. Amy. Amy's not long out of school, and the reality of it is the best way to learn surgery is to actually do surgery. And bottom line is that's how we try to train people here. Chubb's lower jaw is uh, split down the middle, um, so we're going to wire it back together so that it can heal properly. What we're going to do is press two large needles actually through the skin of his chin, and these are going to be our guide for where we pass the wire through. What you're gonna end up with is this. This is your wire now. Amy's gonna basically twist the wire underneath the jaw, so it's gonna go up around the canines and go across the mouth and come underneath, and it's gonna pull the bone together. 
These two metal points sticking through are the needles. So now I'm passing the wire through the needles. You have it figured out? Yeah. Does that look good? Not, yep. Just pull those off. I can hold <laughs> that there. And twist uniformly. The wire will pull the jawbone back together. All we need to do now is tighten it up. And grab it down and tighten a little bit more and feel. Now, there's no way to describe it. Uh -huh. When you've broken a thousand, you know how tight you can make them. Uh -huh. that's, that's the bottom line. The wires have been passed. Amy's tightening the wire down. I'm going to check it, make sure it's tight enough. We basically try to move it and see if it moves. Can't go much tighter than that. Oh, it will break. OK. Well, that's a good alignment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's going to heal. It was easier than I thought, actually. <laughs> so I think I could definitely do this one again on my own if I needed to. The wire will stay in for eight weeks until the jaw bones heal. There he is. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Hi, oh, Jabs. My goodness, Jabs, you blind. <laughs> Wait. He looks pretty good, though, don't you think? Oh, yeah. He's kept a really good attitude the whole time. Oh, good. He's been eating great for us orally, so you don't need to tube feed him. But we want to leave it in for another 10 days just to make sure nothing goes wrong. We don't want him to get home and all of a sudden stop eating for us, OK? Sounds good. Hi. Hi, how are I'm you? Je I'm Jeff. I'm Lindsay. Pleased to meet you, Lindsay. You too. So Fat Cat is, uh, besides being a really cool cat, is just yeah. one tough, tough cat. cat. It's right. amazing to me. Now, we really, we fed him a little bit by the feeding tube, but we, he never did stop eating. Right. I mean, the first day, we wired the jaw together. Ate that eating. day. I couldn't believe it, you know. We get cats in here that don't have near as much pain as what he was going through, and they're, really and they're, they're just vicious, you know. Yeah. The okay. problem with cats is they don't eat for a few days when they're kind of chubby, and he's probably called fat cat for a reason. <laughs> Chubs for a reason. Yes. Um, they mobilize fat, it goes to the liver, and it makes their liver sick. And then they oh. don't eat, and because they don't eat, more fat goes to the liver. So it's just a crescendo, and it can oh. lead to death. It's not yeah. a primary disease, but with his face being so messed up, we were really worried that he wouldn't eat for a while. Yeah. He proved us wrong, because he's just tough. Yeah. He is an incredible cat. I mean, yeah, this is one is. cool cat. Their children. They're going to be really excited. I'm going to call them when I get in the car and let them know that I got them and that I'm on my way home.